Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a three looks, one palette tutorial using this ColourPop palette in Your Future is Bright. And whenever I saw that ColourPop released this palette, I mean, they have all these single shadows just in their single shadow collection, but they selected these um, for this palette and I just loved this color combination. So I knew I wanted to pick this up because you guys have been requesting that I do more colorful makeup looks and I thought that this palette would be perfect for summertime. I just absolutely love the colors in here. So if you would like to see how to do this look, and I also do two other makeup looks, just keep on watching. But let's just go ahead and get into the tutorials. So as usual, I'm starting out with my eyeshadow primer. I know that this Catrice one is discontinued, but I'll link some of my other ones that are my favorites down below. So first I'm going in with this color called Centerfold, and I'm just blending that shade in my crease. It's just like a warm coral. It's a really pretty color. I love all the colors in this palette. I think all the colors are super beautiful. Then I'm going to be going in with O. It's like three O's. <laughs> and I'm just going to place this on like the last third of my eyelid, just really packing that color on. Now this that shade does have some fallout so I would definitely recommend to do your foundation afterwards. I have Salem on my lap right now and he he's not liking me talking loud. <laughs> and then I'm just taking a blending brush. I think that's my I think that was the Morphe M or no, Sigma. I think that was the Sigma E25 and I'm just blending that color in my outer V just kind of smoking it out. Then next I'm going to go in with Earth Shine, Earth Shine, <laughs> and I'm going to place that on like the first half of my eyelid, and I do build this color up, like I go in a couple of times to just pack it on and to help blend it with O, or O, however you pronounce that shade, um, so yeah, and then I'm going to go in with this beautiful glitter that's called Bombay, I think that's how you pronounce it. And at first I was trying to apply it with a brush, but it wasn't going on super opaque, so then I used my finger, and that is the best way to apply these pressed glitters. And then I was just going back with the brush to just kind of fade it out a little bit. Now if you wanted to, you could use a glitter glue or something like that with it, but I didn't. And here in a second, I'm going to go um, on top of that, like mist it with a makeup setting spray to like really lock the glitters down. Um, so here I'm just going in with a makeup, mover, makeup remover wipe and cleaning up like the fallout and the glitter. Then I'm just using the shade Sandbar, which is a beautiful matte hot pink. And I wanted to deepen up the outer V, so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going back with Centerfold and just blending that out. Now this is where I'm going in with the makeup setting spray to lock on the glitter. That's kind of my trick if I don't want to use a glitter glue. I don't know, sometimes for me it's just like a little too messy. And then I'm just going in with this Lancome pencil liner. It's a really pretty purple, using that on my waterline. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to be using Seeing Stars. And I'm just going to smudge that on the lower lash line. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm using this Milani. This is one of their Hypnotic Lights highlighters in Beaming Light. And this is such a beautiful highlight to pair with this palette. It's just like, it has an iridescent like purple reflect and it looks beautiful popped in the inner corner. I also use that as my highlight with this look as well. And then I'm just curling my lashes up and applying a bunch of mascara. totally forgot to show it but I did prime my eyelids before going in with my eyeshadow. First I'm blending Take Flight into my crease which is a really pretty matte bright yellow. Um, I did find with that shade I had to kind of build it up a little bit and then I'm going in with Chauffeur. Now this color you definitely have to build it up. 
um, it's kind of sheer when you first apply it so you will as you will see like I go in a couple of times to intensify this eyeshadow Then really with this look, you could go in with ooh or O, oh, however you pronounce that, which is the color I'm using, or you could also use bratty. I feel like either of those would go really good with this look, and I kind of wish I would have used bratty since I used O, oh, ooh, <laughs> in the other look that I just did, but here I'm just kind of going back and forth with the chauffeur and ooh and just blending, making sure everything's blended really well, and I'm just kind of smoking out the outer V with my Morphe M506, and then I'm going back with Take Flight and just blending the edges. So as you can see, you'll definitely get some fallout, so I do recommend doing your foundation after you do these eyeshadow looks just because you do have some fallout with this palette. So I'm just going in with a makeup remover wipe to clean that up. Then I'm going in with For Sure and I'm just smudging that on my lower lash line. And then I also go in with Sandbar and deepen it up a little more, which is that bright hot pink. Then for my liquid liner, I'm using this Urban Decay Perversion eyeliner, and I started out with this one, but then I ended up switching over to my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. I'm just so used to that that I just always go back to that liquid liner. I don't know. I just like the way that, I don't know. I'm just so used to it. And then I'm going in with Seeing Stars and just kind of darkening up the outer corner. Then for my waterline, I'm going in with the um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Lucky. For my inner corner highlight, I'm just using this Wet n Wild Platinum Bar Highlight. It's a really pretty like white gold. It pairs really nice with like this eyeshadow look. So I use that for my inner corner and my brow bone. And then I'm just curling up my lashes and applying a lot of mascara. I mean, I like how all the looks turned out, but I have to say that this last look is probably my absolute favorite. I just love this purple, hot pink. I don't know. It just looks so pretty. First, I'm going to be going in with Centerfold, and I'm just going to be blending that in my crease. Then for my outer V, I'm using Seeing Stars. I first started with my Morphe M506, but I really wasn't liking the way that this was blending at first. I will say that that shade is a little hard to blend out on its own, so you're definitely going to have to work with it. And so I'm kind of going back and forth between this Sigma Concealer Brush and the Morphe M506 to help blend it out. As you will see, I do a lot of blending with this look, so just be patient and blend, but once you get it blended out, it looks really nice. Then I'm just going back with some more centerfold and just blending around the edges. 
So I just kind of go back and forth between centerfold and seeing stars and just get it to the intensity and you know the blending that I want. Then for like the front part of my eyelid, I'm just using Solstice with the Mostis. <laughs> I love that name. Um, but it's a really pretty like hot pink with like purple um, duochrome in it. It's so pretty and it pairs so nice with Seeing Stars. So I'm just patting that all over my lid and blending it with Seeing Stars. Then of course I'm going back with some more Seeing Stars and just blending some more. See, I told you guys I did a lot of blending with that shade, so just be patient, um, you know, and just blend, blend, blend. <laughs> I'm using some more centerfold and just blending that out some more. Can never blend too much. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm using Becca's Prismatic Amethyst which is a really pretty like pink shift highlight. Um, yeah, I just really liked the way that that looked with this makeup look. You could also use that Milani highlight that I used with the look before. Was that the first look? Yeah, with the one that I used <laughs> for the first makeup look. That would also look really pretty with this eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with Seeing Stars and just smudging that on the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to curl up my lashes and once again apply a lot of mascara. If you're curious about any of the products that I use today, like the lipstick or blush color bronzer I used for the different looks, I will have everything listed down below for you guys. And you'll have to let me know down in the comments like which look was your favorite. I totally forgot to film an, an outro, so I hope that you guys did enjoy this three looks one palette today. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep filming these. And like I said, let me know down in the comments which look was your favorite. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.